What's up guys? Hello Bass back here with uh, what's new in my boat for July edition. It's too hot to be in the garage so we're going to do it on the steps because it's a beautiful night tonight. So let's let's dig into my latest tackle addiction purchase and see what we are getting. This week's going to be less stuff but more fun stuff. Bigger ticket items. Alright. So Rod wraps from Rod Gloves, these are really handy for carrying and bundling your rods when paired with Rod Gloves or other sleeves um, as a co-angler or to transform in somebody else's boat or in the back of your truck or whatever, the car. These are really nice to have. They're super convenient. You can hold like six, eight, ten rods with one hand if you use these. Pretty nice deal. All right, restocking some of the spicy beavers that I got last time. Pretty nice flipping baits, pretty nice jig trailers. Really thinking these are pretty good. I'm gonna put some links to the descriptions for these products down below. Uh, picked up some D-bombs, uh, doing more flipping, more foil, more grass. I wanna try some of these uh, out. I've used them before, wanted to get some more. Some green pumpkin flash and some green pumpkin blue. Full size D-bombs. All right, a couple of rods, gloves. For some new Dobbins I got. I'll show you those maybe another time. Super nice for organizing your rods in your rod locker. It protects your guides, it protects the tips of your rods, makes your rods last longer, and allows you to get probably two or three times as many rods in your rod locker without tangling them. All right, some Tatsu eight pound floral. Expensive, but worth it. I almost primarily only use this as leader material, so I'm only using six, eight feet at a time. So this 200 yard spool, even though it's expensive, will last me a long time, and it's about the best floral carbon that I've found for light line. Got some more of these Hayabusa trailer locks in a smaller size. I want to try these out. They work pretty nice so far. Still testing them out, but they're definitely saving me some jig trailers and making me more efficient with my jig. Got some uh, smaller Dobbins swim bait heads for throwing Kitex and other small swim baits around. I got the big ones when I was down at Gunnersville for throwing the bigger swim baits. These are more for Kitex and small uh, rage swimmers and things like that. So 3 16th outside. They got a really good keeper. They really hold the plastics well. And then, a new reel, spinning reel, Fuego 4000, that I'm gonna put on a Dobbin 703 spinning rod. Pretty excited, this is the first time I've had pretty good luck with the Tatulas and the Procyons. And so this is my first Fuego, so pretty excited to try that. So, watch for this to be on my rod soon. Gonna use this as a dock rod, I think primarily skipping wacky rigs. Um, I like the 4,000 size reel for the capacity and it allows you to just put more line on it and allow you to make longer casts. So that's the reason for the 4,000. So get that set up. There we go. One more thing. That feels nice. One more reel in here. <clears throat> Picked up a Shimano SLX 150XG. From what I'm reading online, it's the nicest $99 reel that's come out in quite some time. So excited to try this. You seeing this on one of my Dobbin Sierras or Champions pretty soon. Some oil. <clears throat> and the color scheme should really match with the Dobbins Champion or Sierra because they both have that silvery blue color to them. And this SLX has a really nice blue finish on the spool, on the side, on the brakes. Some nice accents. This is my first time hands on the reel. Feels pretty nice, pretty impressed. So those are my new toys for July. Look for them in my future videos. Stay tuned, subscribe, comment, like, and let me know what you want to see in future videos. Thanks for tuning in.